Hello friends. In this video, we will study about water resources. Water resource is the most important natural resource essential for life. There are three forms of water. About 0.04% of water is in the form of water vapor in atmosphere. 97% of total water is in the form of oceans, rivers and lakes and rest is in the form of ice in the mountains and polar regions. Distribution of Earth's water 3% of Earth's water is fresh water 70% of Earth's water is in form of ice 0.25% of water is held by rivers and lakes Rest is present in swamps and in bodies of plants and animals Less than 1% of total fresh water is available for domestic and industrial use, irrigation and power generation. Large water bodies Large water bodies act as avenue of transport and trade. Large water bodies support a large number of fish and other marine organisms useful for mankind. Water absorbs and stores more heat than most other liquids. Large water bodies help to moderate the extreme of temperature on Earth. Oceans are the main source of atmospheric water vapor which causes precipitation and keeps water cycle going. Water-based projects Rivers water is used for projects like construction of dams and reservoirs for storing water and canals for diverting water to the crop field. Such projects help, in serve, help to serve purposes like irrigation, flood control, production of hydroelectricity. Above projects are also known as multi-purpose river valley projects. Distribution of water resources Water resources are unevenly distributed over the earth. You might know that the amount of surface water at a location depends mainly on gains from precipitation and losses through evaporation, transpiration and runoff. Where losses exceed gains, there is shortage of water and where gains exceed losses, there is a surplus of water. Areas that face water shortages are Northern and Southern Africa, Western USA, parts of Mexico and South America and most of Australia. By 2025, more than 4 billion people will have an insufficient supply of water. India's water resources India has sufficient water resources in the form of perennial rivers. Perennial rivers are permanent rivers. High annual rainfall, underground water, India has undertaken many river valley projects for proper utilization of its water resources. Degradation of land Pollution causes caused by the unscientific disposal of waste causes degradation of land. Bad farming practices causes soil erosion and soil of Loss of soil fertility. Landslides is a major threat of land resources, especially on hillsides, valley, and coastal areas. Causes of landslides are first is rocks loosened by weathering, move down a slope due to gravity, second is earthquake, third is volcanic eruption, and fourth is violent explosion. Debris. A uh, debris is a moving mass of loose mud, sand, soil, rock, 
water and air that travels down a slope under the influence of the gravity. Moving debris travel with great speed down steep slopes and canals. Debris carry huge boulders. Huge boulders mean large rocks and upper rooted trees which can destroy buildings and bury roads and railways in their path. Debris block streams that causes floods. Floods Upstream floods The streams are blocked. As a result, water collects behind the debris. When the collected water breaks through the barrier and rushes down slope, this causes downstream flood. Mud flows. Mud flows, flows are formed when the debris gets mixed with a lot of water. Usually starts by heavy rainfall or by rapid snow melt. Risk of landslide increases by human activities, deforestation which causes excessive seeping of water into sloping ground also lead to landslides. Unscientific farming, excessive constructions and blasting for building roads. For example, blasting for road building on National Highway 22 caused severe landslide in the Panji Valley in Himachal Pradesh. Risk of landslides can be reduced by afforestation, wall built around the rocks, building drainage system. Area prone to landslide should be avoided. Hazard mapping. Hazard mapping includes processes by which geoscientists find out where and to what extent various natural phenomena can cause damage. Landslide prone places can be identified by hazards mapping. 